Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Like, bro, goddamn, can I take care of myself, bro? But, like, I put my neck on the line for the people I love, bro. So that's why I be, that's why I just, like, if something happened to me, bro, it'll be people out the, the ass that love me, bro, because what I provide for, bro. So I chose to be a provider than a gangster, bro. Yeah. Because I knew that my family going to need me out here as that strong root of the family, bro. And I'm talking my family I have in the street. You know what I'm saying? So when you know that it's like that, you know that you're a provider, bro, it's certain things come in the game. You your mind start to change. Now you have something to lose when you had an action when you didn't have something to do nothing that you start to think about the choices that you start to make. That's a real de definition of OG, bro. To recognize the error in his ways and have enough time to correct it, bro. That would really make a person an OG. That's what you talk to these young niggas and let them know. The road that you head down gonna lead you here. And sometimes niggas can't bounce back after they get to this point. But if you bounce back from this situation right here, bro, that's what's gonna make, that's gonna determine your whole life right here, bro. That's why you got niggas out here living and dying. This is the truth. That's why I'm saying people need to stop calling me AK, calling me Houston Crip. They need to start calling me Jesus Mouth. Because everything I say is the truth. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody getting in front of this hoe and lying to y'all. That nigga person is on this hoe lying. I was in the same place with this nigga, bro. Talking about, I told I said straight up, I said, bro, these doors, these doors on some police shit too. They gonna get the cell phones in, bro. But niggas getting raped, fucked, and, and beat up, it's not going down. It's called safe prison, bro. Call safe prison, bro. And if you if you if you been a, if you a convict, you know what safe prison is. Safe prison is like nigga, 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 somebody, a nigga's extorting me, right? A nigga's extorting me. A nigga can ride a kite home to his family. His family contact the prison. Now the prison have a whole internal investigation going on because this nigga being extorted. They don't know that TDC have their own police, bro. People don't just, that's what I'm saying. This is what person is making, but like, TDC have their own police, bro. When them niggas escape, bro, TDC have their own search team to go get that nigga. You is talking about the Texas Department of Justice, bro. They point, they, their department is to clarify justice, bro. These niggas, bro, these niggas talking about being so proud of being gang members. You're a super duper crip in the world, but oh, when it's time for you to make parole, you're gonna regret the day that you ever called yourself a super duper crip. Cause being a a, a documented gang member disqualify you from because a lot of people don't know. They got work programs and shit in, in, in jail to get you home early. But if you're a gang member or you're like beating on your bitch, you you disqualified. If you want to get an education in prison and you're a documented gang member, it's a, it's a no-go for some of the programs, bro. We ain't fucking with it because you're not outstanding. We, you're trying to get nothing and get people to do shit to turn to be rebellious. I was going to say, like, uh, you had spoke on it earlier, like, you know, about key holders and speakers. But people like that don't know what exactly, like, is a, is a key holder. And a key holder is that talk for your, like, say, like, they talk for the family, bro. Mm -hmm. They talk for your your sick. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so like say if I get into it with a wood, right? The wood key holder need to go talk to that one. It's like it's politics, bro. The representative, bro. The head nigga. Mm -hmm. That's who the key holder is, bro. And I'm not gonna lie to you, that nigga was a key holder, bro. But I don't see how. Like in the world, I don't see how. So my job is to like make sure that if we ever meet up in a place like that again, that you will never hold a key like that. You don't, you don't, it's not the quartier. Like niggas try to tell what quartiers is, bro. If niggas really know me in real life, bro, they're like, yeah. Yes, the youngest one. <laughs> like the youngest OG, you can call me the youngest OG, bro. The youngest one, to be 36 years old, to be considered as an OG. With that age right there, I'm not an OG. To be considered as an OG, you have to be old in the game, bro. 
See, I know young niggas not like OG. That's why these young niggas would never be OGs because they crash out before they get there. That's a pro this a process to this shit, and these niggas forgetting that. Just because you successful at 27, 28, that don't make you an OG. That make you an OG to the niggas. That make you to the to the, pe the people that you following and following you. But when you get into the real world and get into the infrastructure, once again, J Prince. J Prince is an OG for real. So how can you consider you an OG because you sold three pounds a week? You're not. You got to get to his age. People need to learn the, the, like the mafia structure, bro. Once you learn the mafia structure, you'll understand the structure of the street. And, and ain't no young ass niggas calling no shots. It's a lot of young made ass men now. They stay there on their own. But at the end of the day, you can't deny the guidance of an old school nigga, bro. Never. We gonna always need an old school nigga that's gonna share wisdom, bro, because he, he been to a point of the game that we haven't been to yet. He crossed bridges that we never crossed yet. So that's why OG is needed. So like that's why like these niggas send that guy and they said, bro, you gotta understand, bro. I only like in reality, I only been on this earth for 35 years, bro. So I all that I got is 35 years worth of knowledge of this world, bro. Like when I look at my little girl, my little girl is, is one year old, so she have she have 13 months of knowledge on being on this earth and she and she's learning it. She learned it. So you got you're gonna be learning this shit every day. So any nigga that's screaming that they got to figure it out now, nah, bro, because you can lose it tomorrow, then figure it out then. So like, you know what I'm saying? You never been through nothing. I, I come from a house where I was raised by my grandma. Mama was a product of the 80s. The bad side of it. Not the Cadillac and the Swangers. She was the one who was supplying the Cadillac and Swangers to them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's either you be a sheep or you be a fucking wolf. And it's a lot of these niggas out here is like pretending to be wolves, but like you wasn't born to be a wolf. I was born to be a wolf. If you have your mom and dad, you have your mom and dad and you got everything for Christmas. You, you never saw your parents do drugs before. You were, you were a little sheep to try to dress like a wolf and get your ass ate. So like when you saying it's like, it's, it's shit, it's like some niggas is born into this shit. I was born into this shit. I was born to be a gangster, bro. These niggas wasn't born to be a gangster, bro. So it's like when niggas, when I look at niggas, bro, about being a gangster, but not being a gangster and being smart now, it's like to the point of it is, I can't tell everybody everything, bro. I can't, I'm not about to prove myself to nobody, bro. They got them mug shots. I don't know how to get them hoes, but they got them hoes. They got, they got my diapers, they got all that shit. I used to be a dumbass, bro. And I'm sitting in jail with a whole bunch of niggas that used to talk about what they had, bro. But we out in jail fucked up. Jail is fucked up. So tell me what you got going on. It seems like he's still fucked up. 